Hey guys, welcome to the 200th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, editing our project's properties. And by doing so, we can do things like change the icon, the version, the description, add a company name, and stuff like that. Alright, so to access those properties, you're just going to want to go up to Project up here and go down to My Project Properties. And it should say your project name, not My Project. I just called My Project My Project. But anyways, just click this right here and it should take you to a page similar to this. And make sure you're just on the Application tab right here. And right here is just all the information about your application. You have your assembly name, your default namespace, and this is just whatever you called your project and once you changed it. Assembly information where you can change um, the version and stuff and the icon and the default icon for your application is just a boring window so if you want to change it just go ahead and click this little browse button right here and the thing about changing your icon is you need to have it in ICO format so dot ICO and the great place to find icons is iconfinder.com just type in whatever you want and you can just download it in either PNG or ICO format Alright, and I already have some downloaded, so I'm just going to go to my desktop and select, I guess, this Tornado one. And, yeah, so right now my um, application's icon is just this Tornado. But at any point, if you want to change it back to the default icon, you can do so just by clicking down on this arrow right here and selecting default icon, but I'm going to keep it as a Tornado. Alright, to actually see the changes take effect, we're going to have to both save and uh, debug so that uh, our new application will be built. Alright, so as you can see when we debugged right here, it didn't actually change this icon or this icon. It changes the icon of our actual application, so on the exe file. So in order to get to that, we're just going to want to go into our documents, um, Visual Studio 2010 folder, the projects folder, then whatever you named your project. Mine is just called my project. Then go into the my project folder or whatever you called your project. Then the bin folder and the debug folder. And inside of here should be your exe. And as you can see right there, it just has my the icon that we uh, made and it's just called my project and it's the executable or whatever. All right, so that's how you change the icon. Now to change the assembly information, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and click this assembly information button right here. And right here is just basically a whole bunch of information about your assembly. So to see this information, you actually have to hover over your um, exe file for a little bit and as you can see it just comes up right there it's like file description my project the company is microsoft and the file version is one and you can change all of that right inside of here so if you wanted to change the title to something else like i'm just going to say adam um make the description be like my cool project uh change the company to like whatever your company is or if you don't work at a company just I guess your name and then the company after it doesn't really matter or you can just leave this blank altogether. But I'm just going to make it Adam's company, uh, the product, I'll just leave it as my project. If you have a copyright, you should probably put that there, or a trademark. And then for the assembly version and the file version, you can change that and you should probably make those the same. But basically what all these zeros right here mean is just like how much you edited your project. So if you were to like update it to something just very minor, you fixed a very minor bug or something, then you're just going to want to change this last number right here. If you change something a little bit bigger than this, or bigger yet, change that number. But if you made a huge change, then just change this number, like a huge update or something. And the default version, so like the, if you were to create a brand new application, just make it 1.0.0.0. Alright, and then once you're satisfied with everything, just go ahead and click OK. But I'm actually going to change the file version to 2.0 and just click OK. Now to see the changes take effect, we're going to have to save and debug right here. And now I'm going to go back to our actual application and hover over it. Uh, we see the file description, Adam, company, Adam's company, and the file version is 2.0.0.0. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on editing um, pretty much everything about your application, like your icon and stuff like that. Alright, so see you guys.